Hi everybody and welcome back to my basement once again. Today I have my laptop and I have issues with thermals. I already made a video when I did this with holes on the bottom to allow more airflow, but it didn't really help with the CPU cooling. And I have my CPU sitting constantly at 95 degrees. And bear in mind this laptop is a ROG Strix SCAR 3 and it's liquid metal cooled both in GPU and CPU, you're gonna see in a moment. But I believe Asus didn't really make a good job on the CPU side. So what I did is I bought some liquid metal, today I'm gonna open it, add more liquid metal and see if it works or not. This is a desperate attempt and I'm gonna try and let's see if it works. Perfect, now it's open, I've removed the battery and it's time to remove the cooling here. So And this is kind of a surprise to me because I thought both of them had liquid metal on them. The CPU has liquid metal, the GPU has thermal paste and it's freaking dry. So yeah, it was time to change it for sure. And also the application job on the CPU was not the best really. And I see there is room for improvement. And be careful with liquid metal because thermal paste is not conductive. If it goes on your motherboard, no issue. This one is nasty and it will fry your motherboard. So really, really be careful with it. And don't use it on aluminum. Only use it with copper or nickel plated copper like this one. I don't know why they didn't go with copper directly, but I'm gonna start from the CPU, understand how liquid metal works because I never done it, and then maybe I'm gonna put it on the GPU as well. I got some conducto note here from Thermal Grizzly and I guess this is the best one to use. I'm gonna use the alcohol pad they give you and clean everything up. It just bolts together like you can see there. Oh my God, it's like mercury. Be careful with those little bolts. As you can see some of it has gone outside and this is a big issue. I think I'm gonna use some solder removal pen because yeah sucked it right out nice boom it's shiny clean right now and I'm gonna proceed oh my god I'm kind of nervous so as I understand it you just drop a ball in the middle no maybe it's too much can I suck it back in? Wow! Well, this stuff, I gotta say, it's kind of cool. And then with the spreader here, you just spread it around. And you also need to apply it on the heatsink right here. Boom! I spread it everywhere and now it's time for the GPU and I'm scared. And I think I'm gonna use regular thermal paste on it because it's not set up to use uh, liquid metal and I don't wanna <laughs> destroy my laptop. And really the GPU was fine, it was at 70 degrees with that old crappy thermal paste with my MX Arctic 3, it will be just fine. I'm gonna get it and put it there. And boom, this is the MX4 from Arctic and this is a couple of years old but I guess it's gonna be fine because it's sealed in the in the tube and I don't remember how to use the, the thing I guess you gotta cross it like this you know I'm just gonna spread it I don't care if it comes out <laughs> I, I wanna just be sure it, it works everything set time to put the heat sink back on and I hope it doesn't drip. I need to be super, super, super precise. Let me check one last time. And boom, it's done. Time to put the cover back on and test the performance. Before I put the screws, let's see if it turns on. Yeah. It turns on. Super nice. I, I mean, I hope. <laughs> yeah, the LEDs are on. The screen is not. I'm scared. <sighs> okay, okay. It decided to turn on. Everything is fine. I removed the battery, so maybe it had a little bit of hiccup. Let's see if it boots. Perfect. 
And you can see me, I'm super excited because I just ran Geekbench again and the results are way above what I imagined. Just look at them, just look at them. Boom. Gonna put them on the screen, but we got more than 2000 points more on Geekbench and it's a lot. Before we had 1009 on the single score, now we have 1315. It's a little bit better, but the multicore 6400 before, 8456 now. It's it's crazy, <laughs> it's just crazy. And for this CPU, stock values are around 7000. So we are 1456 more than stock. Before I was going a little bit less than stock, now I'm exceeding the, the average by a lot, a lot of margin actually. And I can just feel the hair being a lot hotter around here. And I watched the, the clock speed with a, a CPU stress test, basically it stresses all cores together. Before it was running at 2.7, 3.5 gigahertz. Now eight cores, you can run them at 4.2, 4.6 which is a ton better. It depends on the situation. If the GPU gets used, you lose a little bit of thermal dissipation here because you also have to, um, to cool the GPU as well. But I'm super, super, super <laughs> excited about this. I can feel the difference. It's much snappier, it's faster, it's cooler as well. And it doesn't th thermal throttle all the time. Max temperature I've seen now is 85 degrees. Before it was 95, even if it was like this, doing nothing. And uh, really, I mean, Asus, what the hell did you do? This is the way <laughs> to cool a laptop. And if you have a laptop like this and you feel your performance are not the best, maybe after the warranty is over, of course, try get a look in the, in the CPU, GPU department. Maybe you will get a lot of extra performance out of it. I mean, it's a new laptop. It's 20, 30% faster now. And that's basically a year, <laughs> every product, you know, every year it's 30% faster than the year before in, on average. So yeah, new laptop, <laughs> 2022, and I'm super excited about this. And as always, remember to like, subscribe and comment on this video. Let me know what do you think about this craziness I've been doing. I want to rock this cover, but I need to find a wire mesh to put on here and some way to glue it actually because I need to glue it. I'm scared something is gonna damage my um, fans. Looks cool now. And also I need to make the hole for the USB-C even if I'm not using it that much. And as always, stay safe and happy overclocking. <laughs> Bye.